this is Dr. Rubenstein, and we are at the New York State Capitol Building. And we're going to be taking a tour today, and it'll be starting in a few moments. Um, it took quite a bit to get in here, as you can well imagine. Not for the tour, but getting through security, getting parking, and all that, it is quite the tour. So, today we're going to be going on a tour, and I am just waiting for the tour guide at the moment. So let's see what we can find here today. And this is the, well, I guess it would be the south entrance to the Capitol building. And when you look across, you can see the New York State Museum out the window and the top part of the plaza. And you can see some of the things that are here. And our tour should be starting shortly, I would think. Yes, it is. It's very cold out. I picked today because it was supposed to be warmer. <laughs> and tomorrow's going to be... Ah. Uh-huh. Construction was supposed to take, take four years, right? However, seven years after the construction started, Fuller finished one and a half floors. Only. <laughs> and the cost had risen from $4 million to $12 million. So three more architects replaced Fuller. H.H. <laughs> H. Richardson, Leopold Atlas, and another uh, landscape architect, Frederick Law Olmsted who is famous for designing the Central Park. So the style changed from uh, Fuller's Italian Renaissance style to Romanesque. Huh. And the last architect, Isaac Perry, finished the building with a French Renaissance roof. Huh. So in 1897, most designs were finished, except for a tower, a yeah. dome tower that was supposed to be built on top of the world, but was never built. Yeah. We will get to it later. Mm -hmm. Uh, so in 1899, Governor Theodore Roosevelt declared the construction was completed. 
So you might feel like, oh, so what happened to the first capital building? Right? Maybe after the tour, you know, I want to go there to check it out. Actually, that building was demolished mm. in 1883. So, you know, after the tour, if you have time, if you go to the uh, East Capitol Park, there is a plaque to show the original oh. entrance okay. of the, the, yeah, the first Capitol uh -huh. building. So, we're going to go there to check out our standing staircase. Sure. So, this is our standing staircase, completed in uh, 1885, uh, designed by architect Leopold Atkins. The staircase is made of coarse hill sandstone from Scotland. So the reason why they selected this specific sandstone uh, was that you know it was soft when it arrived. So it was easy for uh, carvers to carve you know, to work on the, the project. And as the stone was exposed to the air, it began to harden. Uh, so everything is hand carved in place. Like everything is hand carved in place. Wow. Also, if you look back, for example, here, just like low risk carvings, also called by relief, they're in contrast with the rest of the three dimensional carvings. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so we're going to uh, go to the first floor okay. to check out the, the top of our sunny staircase. All right. And then we're going to take elevators. Are you okay <coughs> with the elevator? Yeah. Okay. Standing staircase. Uh, if we look up, you can see uh, you know beautiful uh, skylight and ley light. Uh -huh. So the skylight is the you know exterior layer, and the ley light is the interior layer. Uh, so around like 1946, the skylight and the ley light were removed in order to accommodate more offices. Huh? And then probably <coughs> around like 2012, 2013, around that time. So reconstructed. Wow. Also, if you look at the, you know, the panels, uh -huh. you can see those like really beautiful designs. Right? Yeah. So they were inspired by the top elements of the staircase itself. Right. Like, like the, um, represent like different animals, plants, flowers, fruits. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, so they are uh, inspired by the carved elements of itself. Now, are those are those empty rooms? Or they're just rooms, and they just. Like, I'm unsure actually the full side part, but that's a really good question. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good question. You know, like, yeah, like you know, like later, you know, if you have time, maybe as one of my uh, colleagues might be able to help you with that question because okay. that question, I'm, I'm, you know, kind of unsure. Sure. But that's a really good question. <laughs> so we're going to go to our uh huh. Uh, you can sit wherever you want, but 
But just the please do not see it as a first law, because if anything falls, right, it's right, hard to right. <laughs> Chamber. My. So this is our semi chamber designed by architect H.H. Richardson, completed in 1881. Uh, you know, we have three branches of government. You know, the legislative branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch. Mm -hmm. The legislative branch, you know, like writes the state's laws. The executive branch uh, implements the laws, and the judicial branch interprets the laws. Uh, so the legislative branch has two houses, a uh, Senate and the Assembly. So there are 63 senators, two-year term, no term limit. Uh -huh. uh, their sessions are from January to June you know, in which time they debate important bills and votes. And after June, they, uh, they leave and go back to their local offices. Mm -hmm. Actually, when the room was first occupied in 1881, there were only um, probably like around like 32 senators. Uh -huh. uh, also, if we look at their desk, you know, their tables, you can see they have published. So they have published to read bills, vote by hand, uh -huh. by words. Uh, if you look at the seats over there, mm -hmm. that's separate seat. So the separate seat is for the president of the Senate, you know, who presents over sessions. Uh, the right seat is for a clergy person, the choice of whom rotates among the senators. And the left seat is for a clerk. Uh, the next row, you know, the podium, mm -hmm. is for the secretary of the Senate staff. Uh, you know, they uh, take vote tightly, they keep tracking who votes yeah, who votes nay, who mm -hmm. votes to abstain. Mm -hmm. And then the next row uh, look like school desks. Uh, that's for the prize, uh, the invited prize. Ah. Uh, if you look at uh, the three seats uh, in the middle of the area, those three seats, those are for the stenographers. Ah. You know, they are the procession. Mm -hmm. uh, the seats at the back like all the way at the back. Those are for uh, interns and assistants. Uh, actually, those uh, Senate chairs have senators' names on the back. Uh-huh. Is, is that gold leaf? Oh, yeah, we will get to it pretty soon. We will get to it pretty soon. Oh, okay, I was just curious. <laughs> yeah, so if we look at the entire structure of this room, uh, the arches, the arches are Siena marble from Italy. Huh. Uh, the column, the pillars in front of us, that's from Southern Island, New York. Uh, the stone squares on the wall, the stone squares, that um, they're made of a terrapin called Mexican onyx. Huh? Uh, the frames, you know, the frames around the stone squares, those are from Italy, Siena marble from Italy. <laughs> Also, we have a 50 feet to 60 feet high hand carved oak ceiling. Uh, and the wall, you know, the wall uh, beneath the hand carved oak ceiling, those are covered with 23 carat gold leaf, which replace the original leather wall coverings during the restoration, probably in 1970, 1980, around that time. Uh -huh. Um, also, we have Tiffany-inspired stained glass windows. Uh, if we look back, the, the wall, this pink marble wall behind us, that's from uh, Tennessee, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Huh. Uh, the seats and the desks are made from uh, Spanish leather and Caribbean mahogany. Uh, the clock, uh, do you see that clock mm -hmm. on that corner? That's a um, original designed by architect H. H. Richardson. It's made of mahogany. That's all. Also, before I mentioned, uh, you know, during 32 years of construction, five architects worked on this project, right? Actually, their faces are carved on top of each door. 
Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, their faces are carved already. Um, also, if you look at the, the chandeliers, those were all size lights before, and then they were converted to electric lights. Uh -huh. So the, the chandeliers, uh, the carpet, and the 23 carrier gold leaves are replicas. Huh. Uh, one interesting feature of this room is the fireplaces. Yeah. Also called whispering fireplaces. Actually, they don't really work. Since in, um, you know, when the room opened around that time, there was already a rudimentary central heating system. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they're, they're more like decoration. Yeah. <laughs> Since the acoustics, acoustics in this chamber are so good, making it difficult for senators to have private conversations. Uh -huh. So sometimes during session, you might see they hide into the fireplaces to have private conversations. <laughs> So each opening is six feet tall, six feet wide, and six feet deep. Wow. <laughs> also, if we look around, we can see this room is now 100% completed. Uh -huh. For example, if you look at the carvings on that side, and uh, comparing them with the other side. Oh, yeah. Can you see those blocks? Yeah, they're not finished. Yeah, right? Also, if we look at the arches, if we look at the arches, can you see the carvings are missing? For example, if you check the left side, uh -huh. can you see the carvings? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah, right. And there's nothing here. Also, if you check out that spot, uh, you know, compare that one with that, the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> they had gotten, they got their time up and that's yeah, it. So uh, there are like different versions on why it's not 100% completed. Uh -huh. So some people say, oh, because of run out of money, run out of budget. Also, some people say, uh, you know, the assembly chamber opened uh, uh, in 1879, the assembly chamber, 1879. This room opened in 1881. So when assembly members started to use their room, what about some uh, They're still waiting. They're still waiting. So another version is like they didn't want senators to wait. To use <laughs> you know, it's more like, please give us more time, please wait, give us more time. Why? Uh, because of the carvings. Yeah. yeah. So right now this is part of history. Yeah, yeah. But also some people said, you know, also some people said, um, I, at that time, you know, stone covers were told, oh, you know, right now just go back home. We're going to pull you guys back to come here. Oh. But nobody called them. Yeah. They never came back, so <laughs> this is part of the history. Right? <laughs> Very nice. Uh, any questions? No, no. So we're going to check out our uh, corridor. Okay. Thank you. That was very nice. H.H. Richardson. Each circle has 21 pieces. Really? Yeah. It's 21 pieces. 21 pieces to each of those circles? Yeah, each circle. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And there's the courtyard. Uh, you, you might feel like, hey, so, uh, you know, if the tiles are original tiles, why they look so nice, right? Uh huh. Because around like 1950, like between 1950s and the 1980s, all these tiles were covered by carpet. Oh. And the offices were placed on this side of the corridor. Actually, uh -huh. if you look at the column, can you see? Oh, yeah. So, like beams before, right? Yeah. Like the structural stuff, because offices were here. Huh. How nice it is now. 
Yeah, I mean, right now, that's why, you know, it looks so nice. Yeah. The, the tie. It's also, those are like original. Like, yeah. Really nice. Oh, also, uh, if you look outside, if you look outside, you can see uh, those like design transition style. Like, for example, the roof. The roof is in French Renaissance style. Uh -huh. And then Romanesque style. <laughs> and then the third floor is like design transition style. Uh -huh. And then first and the second floors are in a Italian Renaissance style, <laughs> designed by uh, Thomas Fuller, right. like architect Thomas Fuller. So it's like different style. <laughs> you can really see it there too. Yeah, right? More like, oh, you know, what about if you want to see Italian Renaissance style? Oh, please check on the first and the second floor. <laughs> oh, what about Romanesque? Okay, it's just to keep going. <laughs> Sorry, I turned this off. Yeah, please turn it off. Okay. Yeah. And that's why no pictures inside. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we're going to check out our million dollar circuit. Okay. So this is our million dollar staircase, also called Great Western Staircase. You know, because it's located on the west side. Right. Of the, uh, the building. So also called Great Western Staircase. So the whole construction probably took around like 14 years. Uh huh. And uh, cost one point five million dollars. Um, so there are more than like six hundred cars worked on this project. Um, actually, um, uh, if you can look at this picture. So architect H. H. Richardson uh, started the project, but unfortunately, uh, he passed away uh -huh. before the construction was completed. And then architect Isaac Perry took over the project. And uh, we can tell right here, he lost the trees. That's so, why uh, we were able to see uh, those beautiful, unbelievable carvings like everywhere. Uh huh. So on the, the staircase. Uh, the staircase is made of post hill sandstone from Scotland. Uh, the steps are sandstones from Maidana, New York. Huh. Uh, if we uh, look up, you know, the skylight provides natural light for the staircase. And if you look at the base, uh, the base of the skylight, those are New York State uh, governor's faces. Oh, yeah. Up yeah. to the time of the construction. Huh. Uh, there are 77 prominent American faces carved on the staircase. Uh, six are women. For example, Susan B. Anthony, uh, Molly Peacher. I think their faces are carved on the either the first or second floor. Uh -huh. Yeah, so 77. Uh, additionally, there are hundreds of smaller faces that are carved, you know, um, scattered throughout the whole staircase. 
called capital unknown. For example, there's a face here. <laughs> there's another face over there. <laughs> <laughs> Those are called capital unknown because we don't know their names. Yeah. We don't know their names. They might be a, they might be a cover themselves. Or maybe their friends, yeah. their friends' faces, or maybe their family's faces, or maybe from their imagination. <laughs> because at that time they were told they were able to carve whatever they wanted. Really? Yes. But but they were encouraged not to carve the same design device. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, architect Isaac Perry also had his daughter and his granddaughter faces carved. Really? Yes, but we will get to it pretty soon. Sure. <laughs> yes, uh, before I do it, remember I mentioned the capital fire. Right. So because of the capital fire, the whole staircase of the good this way. Okay. The whole staircase was covered by uh, like soot, smoke, and uh, you know, ashes. Um, so I think also you know at that time, you know, people smoke cigars a lot. Uh huh. So I think you know later they spent like a year, like a year, you know, a year like cleaning project. Uh huh. Restore the staircase to its original room. Sure. So for example, we can look at this. Oh yeah. From the fire. Yeah. Right. So can you imagine the whole staircase look like this? Wow. Before the really like, you know, before the cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but those carvings are like really good. Yeah. <laughs> also, there are uh, probably like 20 or 19, 19 or 20 like different boards. Really? <laughs> wow. So we're going to take an elevator. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, the old the old mechanism. And that's why the glass so they can level up. Okay. Yeah, as a as a book collector and a historian, yeah, so I really yeah. So um, I think the fire started probably around like two o'clock in the morning uh -huh. on March 29th, 1911. You know, some people said because of the electric issues. Mm -hmm. But you know, we don't really know no. like what's the you know really the, the cause. But some people say, oh, probably the electric issues. Also, because of the fire, over uh, 500,000 books were destroyed. Yeah. And over 270, over 270,000 original documents were destroyed. Oh. Because of the fire. That is terrible. Yeah. So we're going to have this one. Okay. Uh, there's a, uh, a really good spot for like pictures. Okay. Yeah, this is a really good view. Ah. Uh, like here. If you look oh, yeah. That is a like, different dimension. This is nice. Amazing. Actually, I have a question. Who is that person? Capital unknown. 
You don't know her, right? Oh, uh, she's yeah, very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's somebody's girlfriend, maybe. <laughs> I see the Lewis, Morris, William, Floyd. Were they were they uh, carvers? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Just amazing. Okay. Uh, you are okay with the stairs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just uh, take your time. Okay. There are like no wings. Yeah. Have you ever been to any of these? Uh, some, I would say, but not. Well, I, I've been to the Finger Lakes. I live near oh. Letchworth State Park. Oh, yes, yes. Cayuga Lake I've been to. I don't think I've been to that. Some of the, <laughs> it's amazing, some of these places Okay. Uh huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Do you remember, uh, you know, where we started? That, that one is called semi-staircase. 
it's over there. Over there, okay. Yeah, this is a different one. This yeah. is some staircase. Uh, I see Moorish and Gothic style. Uh, for example, we can see those like pointed arches. Mm -hmm. For example, if we look up, we can see those repeated patterns. Right. And the interlacing motif. So it's in a Moorish and Gothic style. Um, also, if you look at the columns, if you look at the columns, you can see, you know, like flowers, flowers leaves, plants, like you know, uh, on this staircase. Uh -huh. uh, also, if you look up, we can see those beautiful designs on uh, our uh, skylight, ray light. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they represent like different uh, New York State animals, plant flowers. For example, we can see uh, some flowers. Right, also we can find like apples, uh -huh. grapes, you know, like fruits over there. Also turkeys, whales. <laughs> if you want to have a closer look, actually you can find them downstairs uh, in the Dunkin' Donut hallway next to the escalator. Okay. If you want to have a closer look. Sure. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> also, some people said, you know, uh, probably because of the cost of the construction yeah. and the impatience with the pace. Yeah. So, in 1897, the Capital Commission dropped off the plan until future generations command the courage to attempt it. <laughs> and then later, they decided to have a 40 feet tall uh, rotunda with seating murals. Uh -huh. So, this floor. This floor was supposed to be removed. So if you're downstairs, if you're in the room downstairs, when you look up, you're able to see all the way. Really? You know, to the city room. Yeah. So this floor was supposed to be removed. But the plan was never carried out because of the Great Depression. Uh, yeah. Um, so ceiling murals were created by an uh, artist, uh, William the Life Dutch. So he started probably around Sure. New York State Media for History. Uh -huh. uh, if we look at uh, the central, you know, the central part, so that central female figure uh, symbolized the spirit of New York. And she was modeled on an uh, artist, uh, artist, Dr. Sarah, who also helped him paint the murals. Really? I'm going to get another shot of that from over here. No, I, I, you're very good. Okay. Right. And uh, uh, if you want to leave the building later, you can use any staircases to go to the first floor. 
to to exit the building right on the on the second floor. Okay, so I have to go down the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. on the second floor. Okay. Use any staircases to to go to the first floor to exit the building. Also, there are two elevators over there. Okay. You can go in press button one to exit the building. All right. Thank you very much. It was yeah. very good. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I did. And uh, also, thank you so much for uh, cooperating. Oh, not problem. To, you know, call the public. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. That's all right. We got it all done. Yeah. Thank you. So this time they're going to contact you later, right? Okay. Uh, no, I, I was asking you, sorry. Yeah, they said they were going to contact me. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, if you want to post any videos on uh, your YouTube to right. public, yeah, you need to contact them to talk to them yeah. first. Yeah. But thank you so much. You right. have the phone number, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I did, very much. <laughs> very much. Yeah, you're very, <laughs> you're very good. Thank you. Bye. Bye. The war room. Well, let us go down okay. the assembly staircase. These are battle flags. Military Museum and Research Center. And here we have different flags in the Civil War. National Guard, Spanish American War. So these are all the war flags that they kept over time.
Our flag, elaborate identification system developed in 1862 by Major General George McClellan, marked the identity of positions of commanders in camp. are the end of our tour. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to look at some other things too, but that's it for today.